Lennox Zealots. Now that is a topic that will get me some flag. How do you convince someone who has used a completely different system, be it Windows or OS X, Solaris, you know, whatever, how do you convince them that Linux is the better option? And most of the time, if you're trying to convert Windows or Mac users, you're going to come across the, usually as a zealot. Because we preach. We, you know, we don't, a lot of Linux users don't take the time to show what it is. They just preach what it is. And that's not how you should be doing Linux. It's not how you should be trying to further the cause, further the uh, purpose of people understanding what free software is, open source software is. And unfortunately, a lot of Linux users do tend to come across as zealots. They come across as very pushy. They come across as elitist Linux hacker jackasses usually. Not always, but usually depends on the distribution you're using. And that's too bad. Because I've found that if you just show people Give them a computer, say, okay, check your email, if they have web-based email, you know, check your email, check your Facebook, your MySpace, you know, oh, uh, you know, write a document, uh, do a spreadsheet, do a presentation, record a video. It's all relative. You have to temper the preaching, Linux fans, Linux users, Linux zealous. You have to temper the preaching with showing them functionality. Because I had a friend recently who had a old HP, I want to say it was a DV5000, very old computer, 2.8, um, ATI 9000, um, it was running on a gig of RAM and a was it a 4200 RPM uh, 40 gig hard drive? Old. And Windows crapped out on it. He could not get anything to work on Windows anymore. So, you want Windows again? So I tried reinstalling Windows. Windows would not take. Would not reinstall. Put in. What did I put in for him? Uh, Linux Mint. Couldn't be happier does what he wants it to. He only uses it for YouTube, MySpace, Facebook. doesn't use it to play games. So it fits the function that he has. But I didn't force it on him. I said, I might have an option. I'll install it if you want and let you figure it out and let you use it. I showed him the basics uh, and explained some of the differences. That's the only thing I explained. But preaching, you know, calling things like Microsoft, you know, micro shit, my, you know, micro shaft, uh, MS with a money sign, um, then the rag on the Apple fans, um, you know, it's pointless. It just shows you that you're immature. We're trying to have a adult discussion. So act like adults. Give them a reason. Give them an understanding on why you think your choice for an operating system is better. Why you think that Linux is better than say OS X mm -hmm. or Windows. Not, oh, Microsoft sucks ass because Windows is insecure and blah, blah. Windows is what people know for the most part. That's what they use. So, next time, simply have them do what they normally would on the web or some documents. Temper your preaching 
to the people's needs and examine what the people's needs are before you start running your mouth about how badly Windows or OS X for some doesn't work for you. Because remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all world. Now, you can say you'll find the right Linux distribution for you, but not always. Because some people like to play games, and if you play games, well, you're stuck with Windows. Multimedia, for the most part, prefer Mac. So, yeah. Look, look at people's needs, look at what they're using their computers for. Don't force feed it, don't force your opinion down somebody else's throat because they usually tend to just shut you out.